Welcome to our three minute podcast today, everyone. I have Jeff Wyatt with me. He's the chief of McAdory Fire Department in Alabama, and he's here to pick up his new unit. So I thought it would be fun to talk to him about his unit, what you did differently. Uh, welcome, first of all, thanks for coming down here. Thanks for having me. So the first thing that we notice, in addition to your really impressive graphics, uh, is the fact that you did an F450, what is this, an extended, extended cab or cab. a crew cab? So extended an extended cab. cab on a four by four. Yes, ma'am. With a 12 foot body on it. So, mm -hmm. so tell me about the decision to go with this extended cab and with the four by four. Well, the extended cab is our firefighters, uh, uh, our fire medics uh, are subject to run a fire versus a medical call at any time. Mm -hmm. And by having the extended cab, we can actually have their, their bunker gear put in the extended cab portion of it. Okay. So if they're coming back from uh, the hospital with a patient and a fire goes out, the gear's on board. Okay, so uh, this little area back here, you're actually going to store your suitcase. Yes, ma'am. Um, and will you ever have a situation or scenario where somebody could be riding back? We could if we had a, uh, like a motor vehicle accident and there was a family members wanting to ride in, we could carry extra people back there. Good. Uh, if need be. Uh, it just gives them a lot of versatility with their gear. And what about the 4x4 four four aspect? We bought the four-wheel drive aspect after the uh, decision with was made from the tornadoes of 2011. Right. Uh, and we, we have a little bit of snow in Birmingham, but not much. But uh, mm -hmm. pretty much it's guaranteed it can pretty much go anywhere at any time. And that's a big benefit to, you know, some of the rural areas we run. Right. Okay. Well, great. Um, I also noticed in your rear storage compartment, you have, in addition, you actually have four SCBA brackets back there. Yes, ma'am. Now, ma I think, what, maybe two of those are SCBAs and maybe two spares? Yes, ma'am. You've done a little bit different setup than we've seen before, and I know Colin's going to follow us over here and show what we're doing. And actually, I'll take out the, the extra gear. Um, so tell me what your what your plan is for this compartment. Well, there again, uh, the firefighters that could be on a medical call and the, and the fire goes out, they'll each have their own self-contained breathing apparatus and spare mm -hmm. bottle on this unit. Okay. Uh, and depending on where they're at in the uh, fire district, um, they may actually be the first unit on the scene, so they can be suited up, ready, waiting on the engine to get there, uh -huh. uh, or the engine could be there and already uh, engaged in suppression operations. They can get their own air packs off and, and go assist the engine company if well, need be. What's this little area down this here? This area right here is um, we put a shelf here to put our SCBA mask uh, so they can lay down here flat so they wouldn't be getting crushed or anything in here. Gotcha. Uh, and they could uh, sometimes they get wet and they could dry out, you know, in between calls before they get disinfected or whatever. But it's just a storage area basically for the mask. Okay, fantastic. And and who designed your your very impressive graphic scheme? Uh, that would be me. Uh, that came off of a, uh, we bought a fire engine a couple of years ago and we, we striped it with a black top and the uh, uh, gold uh, lettering. Uh, so we wanted to make it match our engine just as much as possible and it's perfect. Well, it looks great. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Good luck and uh, congrats on your new unit. Thank you very much.